It's Halloween, word nerds, so I'm going to talk a bit about spooky things. I'm currently working on a story that has ghosts and other scary things, and it's gotten me thinking a lot about what makes a story spooky, what creates fear, and there are a couple of things that I have realized as I've been writing. The first thing is that the best kind of fear is in the little things. It's in the things that defy your expectations of reality. It's your shadow being in the wrong place. It's a tree blossoming in December. It's a house in Florida in the summer and the attic is so cold you can see your breath. Think about this scenario. You're walking through a neighborhood and something jumps out and scares you. Your heart might pound for a couple minutes or maybe it'll turn into a really exciting chase scene. So it's kind of scary, right? But imagine this. You are in this nice suburban cookie cutter neighborhood and then suddenly you see an old falling apart Victorian home in the middle of these brand new houses. As you pass this house, you feel eyes focus directly on you. But when you look at the windows, there's no one in them. Actually, you can't see any people anywhere at all. But as you continue down the street, that sense of being watched, of being followed, grows and grows. Dread is in the pit of your stomach. The hairs on your arms are rising on end. Now, to me at least, that second scenario is a lot scarier than something jumping out at me. In part because of what I talked about earlier, which is things that don't seem quite right, this old Victorian house in the middle of a new neighborhood, but also because of a second thing that I have learned creates fear, and that is the unknown. If you're writing something scary, you definitely want to be playing off of common human fears. Yesterday we talked about the book Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, and one of the ways they do that is by having the crazy AI that creates too much of a human personality and makes its own independent decisions. That is something that as humans in the modern age, we are scared of robots and artificial intelligences killing us. So of course there are fears like that that you can play off of. There's the fear of death and the dark. Those are very common. But I think the most common fear that really all of our fears boil down to is a fear of the unknown. And I think that all of the best scary stories play off of that fear of the unknown in a way that is recognizable to pretty much all readers. So if you're writing a story and you want it to be scary or spooky, you want your readers to feel fear, there should definitely be an element of mystery. Whether it's not knowing why this ghost is haunting the main character, or what the villain's motivation is, or who the villain is, or why this whole town is slowly losing their minds, if you want your story to feel scary, there definitely needs to be some unknown mystery in it. And I think if you can incorporate those two elements, little things that don't jive with reality, that don't quite fit with what we expect, and a sense of the unknown, then you will have a pretty scary story on your hands. If you are working on anything scary or spooky this Halloween, let me know in the comments and also let me know what things you use to make your story scarier or what you think makes a good spooky story because I can always take more tips. And I will see you guys this Sunday at 7.30 Eastern Time for our first write-in of NaNoWriMo. Good luck tomorrow with the beginning of NaNo. I can't wait to see all of the great work that you guys do this month.